Hello, my friends from all over the world. And uh, this is another show of hemp engineering. Today we have a featured speaker for the Hemp Packaging Expo, Mrs. Uh, Natasha Kemka. She's originally, Mr. yes, she's originally from India. She resides in Nepal. She has a long uh, experience and dedication to this plant. And um, what a great pleasure having you with us, Natasha. Thank you, thank you so much, Raymond, and thank you for inviting. Greetings to everyone from all over who are listening, and uh, thank you for listening. <laughs> thank you, Raymond. The pleasure is mine, uh, Natasha. I know that you have been working with textile, and but it, it raised my curiosity that you have been also dedicated working with packaging, which blew my mind. Um, and actually you were one of the ones that motivated me to do this expo. Yes. <laughs> which, which I am very <laughs> grateful. Um, Natasha, but I never asked you, how did you end up in the hemp business? Um, so hemp uh, journey started uh, with me long time back when I completed fashion designing. That was 2007 actually. But then uh, that time the accessibility for normal people like designers, we didn't have that uh, option, natural fibers kind of thing. But then uh, in 2017, uh, my, my personal interest for hemp and natural fibers as it is for Nepal industry because the potential of hemp in Nepal is very, very, uh, very high. It is like uh, the history goes back like 25 years we have been working on hemp. So uh, there are sectors in Nepal, like uh, Far West Nepal region, that hand spinning yarns are done, fabrics are made, and we have been exporting since 25 years, what not uh, other countries were also, I guess, not doing by then. So uh, my interest was okay, the potential of strength, I have to tap it and I want to work on it because I know the wonder of this plant actually, like you know what it can do. And you also like Roman, you know how it is like wonderful. So that's how we connected as well. So <laughs> that's why uh, I was like, okay, let's, um, let's tap it to the India market first because Nepal is already there. And uh, the exposure to different country would bring something to my country as well, my community as well, actually. So I went to the untapped market, which was Nepal, India that time, 2018. And then I started showing people about what we can do with hemp uh, fabrics, like, you know, what fabrics we have, bamboo fabrics and hemp blends and uh, uh, the bags that we make, the fabrics that we make. So that's how my journey started. And that's how I started working with them. Basically it's a passion project for my, uh, for my community, for my farmers, for Nepal basically, and for the plant actually what it can do. Like, you know, it can just shut down 25,000 industry, I guess, like if just hemp is alive actually everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, I'm doing my part as in, I am uh, just bringing the change from my side. <laughs> Plus you have the charm and the charisma and that, <laughs> Probably the gratitude that uh, wants to convince That's everybody right. that this is the right path, which is very beautiful, <laughs> Natasha. Um, tell me, what are your expectations for this expo? Uh, my expectation, basically, I would say it's um, that people, whoever, like, you know, whoever listens to our expo and who, uh, whatever knowledge we want to uh, give about the plant, like, you know, about the packaging and the paper, what it can do actually. So my expectation is basically that more and more people should use this uh, uh, packaging, uh, should adapt this packaging thing, like for their, if they are into this industry or normal consumers also, because cutting tree is not a solution. Like uh, deforestation is happening in such a large scale. And we are the one who can save earth. We can save, because the earth already exists. This planet already exists. We came and we invaded earth. Actually, we humans did that, you know? So we have to save it. We have to, we are the one who has to bring, uh, keep it intact in our way. So my expectation is that more and more people use this paper, like, you know, and uh, for packaging or, or for any purpose, replace uh, the uh, tree, uh, the papers cut out from tree and, uh, the benefits what from uh, this plant we take out the papers and how we make it kind of thing three uh, three times a year we can harvest it and more papers we can the number I want more and more people to use hemp so that the 
uh, demand is more than the supply is more. So my expectation is more people listening to it and more people adapting to this actually, so that I can give the message to the, at least to some people and then they can adapt that at least. And Itacha, um, what sort of um, process do you use? You, do you do your own port? Um, you do your own paper or do, well, what is behind the scene in your case? Um, I do from scratch. I source the fiber from um, the far west region where they extract the fibers from hand, uh, from hand, all the farmers do it. So my, uh, so I work directly with the farmers as my, with the fabric also the same thing. Uh, I work directly with the farmers actually. So uh, I, uh, we convert it into pulp and they are, we have our own community of people. Uh, women sector people, social enterprises are here, like, you know, so we closely work with them. And uh, in fact, for hem paper, we did a research for, in Nepal, there was no hem paper till the time me and my team came up. Uh, so we have, I have a, a team as well. I have a business partner as well, who are already working with the uh, sustainable papers that is elephant poop papers and all and nepal excels in making handmade made papers is the third largest export from nepal so we already excel in making hand, handmade papers uh, in japan our papers are, are are like exported since 25 years that is lokta paper from the plant of lokta so uh, that's how we excel in that and hemp was something that uh, it was not easy to make so we did an r d for one year during the lockdown period it was my dream project to work on this. So we were very stubborn about it. And uh, we did that uh, and we, we took time, but we wanted the result because we knew it will come out. And we have everything. So we have to do it kind of thing. So me and my team and my community people were like a team, our team doing it. And we are doing it from scratch. And that uh, perseverance or so stubbornness is what brought us yeah. to make this uh, which is fantastic, and I must be, uh, I must tell you, Natasha, that how grateful I am uh, for your persistence and and your encouragement. Not to, you know, we were ready to say, I'm not gonna do it. And you say, No, Ramon, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, 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 actually, yeah, actually, uh, yeah. Uh, we are grateful for you as well, Ramon. Like you know. Uh, like people like you in the industry like you know and in giving us a platform like who are like so much into it and we have the same passion and uh, uh, we work towards the same goal kind of thing we have the same same agenda same goal same aim to let people know about the wonder of this plant and uh, grateful to you as well that you organize such events and as many people you want to like you know we can pass the message from our side uh, we do it and you are the main uh, key for that as well to organize such platforms as well. Thank you to you as well. I am grateful that you just come and, and those beautiful words, uh, Natasha. Thank you for your time. I'll see you the 11th of June. And, yes. and I request everyone yeah, to listen, come know about the paper packaging thing of him from him. And I would like many speakers to come and listen to it. It's a free registration. So people should like, you know, be at least motivated to listen to it that at least to, may, maybe we can just bring something change in like you know in the perspective of why why to use him kind of thing and papers with can agree with you. yeah love and peace my friend thank you very much thank you thank you ramon namaste yeah. namaste. Well, thank you. namaste thank you